Continuing coverage now on the supply chain issues many of us are dealing with day to day. It's not just businesses, though. As MTN's Kate Mentor reports, it's also impacting our schools. Ordering and stocking food has not been easy for schools across the country. I talked to one rural school district in particular who is dealing with some challenges in regards to food shortages. Our head cook, she'll go down. Oftentimes, I can see the frustration on her when I hear her say, I got to go to Sam's Club to pick stuff up. Home schools is just one of many that are concerned about food shortages, and these shortages go beyond food themselves. Silverware, we do have to order at times. We kind of lose it sometimes being lost in the garbage, but at the same time, we do have backup of plastic so that we can wait till that comes in. But it can be slow. For Sarah Klein, who serves as the only cook at home schools, the food shortages have impacted her day-to-day -day duties. It takes a toll because if it doesn't come in, then I'm scrambling sometimes to get what I need. If they don't have what I need, uh, I go to Sam's Club um, and Walmart and local stuff and I am currently getting a Costco card to go to Helena. Due to late shipments, schools are also having to change what's on their menu, providing different entrees to students. Um, it definitely does impact the type of foods. Um, Everybody's trying to go more fresh and local, and it seems to be easier that way because we actually order on a weekly basis, and um, whether it comes in or not is what I serve during the week. Um, we always make a plan a month at a time, yeah. but it does change uh, more often this year. But despite some of the challenges, Klein says that she has developed a backup plan to make sure there is food on everyone's plate. I used my freezer. We ended up getting an extra freezer because we did get the beef donated. So I put all that into one freezer and I back up in my freezer in case something does go awry. Now, while there might be concerns in regards to the food shortages, Ulm Schools says that all students are being properly fed. Reporting in Ulm, Cade Mentor, MTN News. School lunches will get healthier in the coming years. Starting next year, schools will be allowed to offer flavored low-fat and non-fat milk options. They will also be required to offer more whole grain foods. Sodium levels will remain the same for now, but the following year, schools will be required to drop it by 10%.